Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing some brief thoughts on episode 3 of the Doctor Who fan series, The Forgotten Doctor, entitled The Eloy and the Vorlocks. And let me get it out of the way right away and say that I absolutely love and adore the title of this and the influence very loosely deriving from the H.G. Wells classic, The Time Machine. It is probably my all-time favorite novel, and I love the two movie adaptations of it. And to see a marriage between similar concepts and ideas between that and Doctor Who is just fangasm for me. I mean, um, and there's also, you know, previous influence along the lines of in the classic series in the Colin Baker episode, I think it was Time Lash, we actually see a very young H.G. Wells uh, himself show up. So there is precedence for this already. And basically we're picking up right where we left off. We have Sasha Princeton, new impromptu companion, has cold cocked the doctor and stolen the TARDIS. It is off in time and space. They argue for a little bit once he wakes up and snaps too. And once they've landed, they're on this very lush, very woodsy alien world where it's very similar in concept to the Eloy from the time machine. Um, there is an alien race and they are very sort of dumbed down, but influenced in this case by an outside influence and are very willing to walk into their own destruction thinking of it as you know they're being sacrificial and uh, there is a very familiar looking crack in time i might add that has to do with everything now things go sour for the doctor and sasha respectively and it's an outside influence ironically enough that has to save them in a sense in the very welcome and well casted i thought granddaughter of the doctor himself susan she returns and I thought the actress who was cast in this role was spot on, um, embodied everything that I would want to see in a Susan, you know, in a modern day Susan. I mean, she has a vortex manipulator. She's traveling through time. We get a little bit of her heartening story toward the end of the piece about what happened to her ever since the last time we saw her in the Dalek invasion of Earth, where the first doctor, you know, her grandfather naturally left her behind to sort of live on. And um, I love that. She essentially is what saves the day, in a sense, uh, or at least saves the day to begin with. And then the Doctor, of course, picks up the slack toward the end. And I won't say how that is. You'll have to check out the episode. But I just love the interplay between these actors and the roles they're playing are very well done. Um, we also have uh, something that is very interesting toward the end, as revealed by Susan. We see that Sasha is carrying around a fob watch. Now, anyone who has watched the modern series of Doctor Who knows what significance a fob watch means. And I I don't know if this is meant to allude to the fact that Sasha herself is Gallifreyan or, you know, a time lady or whatever, or perhaps this is the item that Torchwood was chasing after her in episode two uh, to get back. I don't know, but it basically hints to a lot of big things to come. And I have to say about Sasha herself, I, I basically compared her to being very similar to Ace, the seventh doctor's companion. And I have to say, she's also very much akin to Duggan from city of death, the fourth doctor story, um, you know, with all the punches she throws, which is hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I'm loving this series. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of this episode if you've seen it. And I want to remind everybody that, you know, if you loved the Doctor Who Confidential series, every Friday after the Tuesday upload of the main series, we have a Doctor Who Confidentials for the Forgotten Doctor. And this is just expertly crafted. I mean, a real in-depth look behind the scenes, and they're having fun producing this series. And uh, it is a worthy successor, in my humble opinion, to the Doctor Who Confidential that we're missing, sorely missing with the new modern age of Doctor Who. And uh, so, yeah, that'll be it for me on this one. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Can't wait for the next episode, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.